Global Webcasting for a worldwide audience. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. You are listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis, where the music matters. My name's Ben Fuller, and I'm on me Todd this week. Poor size, gotta work for a change. It's hard life, isn't it? Well, I've got a great list of music, I've got the usual nonsense, and I will be telling you some of the stuff you can be doing over the next few weeks, in Brighton at least, because I haven't got anything for Lewis. Never mind, let's get on with the music. Edwin Collins, of course, and Girl Like You from 1994 from his album Gorgeous George. And that made number four on the UK singles charts. I've got a right mix today. I don't really know what inspired it, but it's a great list nonetheless. This is the bug. I'm going to put my teeth in. This is the Buzzcocks. Yeah. 
I get was the uh, debut single for Buzzcocks, uh, peaking at number 37 on the UK singles charts. The B-side is simply called Oh Shit. I don't know what that's like, I haven't heard it. And I probably shouldn't play it, I probably shouldn't have said it, but never mind. This is Jesus Jones. <laughs> Love 
That one caught me by surprise. That was Real, Real, Real from Jesus Jones from the album Doubt from 1991. The album, uh, the album came out after the single. It was a promotion single released just before the album. And it did well here in the UK. Peaked at number 19 on the UK singles charts. And it was also their second top US hit, peaking at number 4 on the Billboard Hot 100. I'm going to have one more, and then I'm going to find you some of our usual shameless self-promotion.
Come on, feel the noise. Originally by Slade, of course, from 1973. That wasn't Slade. That was Quiet Riot. Uh, from uh, 1983, uh, from their album Metal Health. It helped the album become a number one hit. It also gave Slade uh, a leg up and got them into the States, belatedly. You never know what a good cover can do. Uh, right now, it's time for the slightly different bit. As you know by now, I'm having to re-record all my promos, my shameless self-promotion as I call it, because they were all getting a bit old. And I'm very lucky to be in a studio with our own Nick Cooper. Nick, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, it has been two years since we last had one of these little chats, and you've since um, stopped doing a weekly show. Yeah, it just got to be too much. So, you know, I wasn't finishing my novel, I hadn't learned to play the violin or or anything like that. You Have know, you done any of those things? No, none of those things. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm still working on my novel. It'll, it'll come out eventually. Uh, well, the slightly different radio show is exactly what it says on the tin, but you've just done something that... Uh, the, the show's had a theme every time since you started, and you've just decided to drop the theme. Yeah, I started doing a theme and then thought, wait, Bob Dylan's copying me, I, I can't have that. And then I carried on doing it for ages and ages and ages, and I thought, oh, this is too much like hard work, I can't find that many songs about avocados. So I thought, sorry, I'll just, um, you know, I'll just play stuff that I like, and, you know, just play stuff for you to enjoy or endure, as the case may be. So yeah. it could be anything, it could be from, you know, something contemporary, though, obviously my, you know, my musical tastes have been, you know, locked in a particular time vein, but I play stuff from the 40s, the 50s, the 20s, you know, and the uh, 15, 1600 and things like that. Any old rubbish. <laughs> Any old rubbish and we have to endure it. I like that sentiment. Uh, well, it still sounds great. I'm really pleased you're still with us. And well, you, you are published once a month on a Wednesday. Just check out the website or Spotify or anywhere else you can find us to catch the Slightly Different Radio Show. Nick Hoover, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Ben. <laughs>
are the jam of course and a town called malice from 1982 that uh, debuted at number one on the uk singles chart that is from the album the gift and it certainly in my opinion deserved its number one spot i don't know what's coming next let's find out the air attack warning sounds like this is the sound we know what it was it was two tribes from frankie goes to hollywood from 1984 it was a phenomenal success in the uk helped by a wide range of remixes and supported by an advertising campaign depicting the band as members of the red army it entered the charts at number one on the 10th of july sorry 10th of june 1984 and stayed there at the top of the uk charts for nine consecutive weeks during which time the group's previous single relax climbed back up the charts to number two it was the longest running number one single in the UK of the 1980s. Still sounds great too, doesn't it? Well, at least in my humble opinion. Now we've got some Tapau. She had on a scheme he had 
the boys of Carol Decker there China in your hand to pal from the album Bridge of Spies from 1987 that one did well for them uh, number one in uh, Belgium top the UK charts and uh, it kept George Harrison's got my mind set on you from hitting the top spot okay you're listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis where the music matters and we're halfway through the show 
So I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that's going on locally and it seems to be Brighton. Saturday the 3rd of October and Sunday the 4th. Uh, Suzuki presents at the drive-in. This is at Mile Oak Farm. A series of uh, drive-in screenings of 80s classics and blockbuster films followed by live entertainment. Prices to be confirmed, although an average will be about 16 to £20. Pound. I've got a bit of a croaky throat. I'm going to play you another tune while I sort that out.
Hangman Jury there from Aerosmith. It was a promotional single in 1987 to the album Permanent Vacation. And uh, that did quite well on the US charts, at least. Uh, Made number 14 on the mainstream rock tracks charts and stayed on that chart for 12 weeks. Okay, back to the listings. You've had Suzuki. Well, there's another Drive and Dine Theatre. Again, at Mile Oak Farm. This is on the 30th of September and uh, Friday the 2nd of October tickets around the 20 quid mark family friendly drive-in screening of Back to the Future as it tours the UK as part of the Drive and Dine Theatre 2020 summer programme it's already been at Eastbourne and I believe it was here in Lewis as well at the White Dot on the uh, 29th of November Jimmy Carr will be at the Brighton Dome and on the 27th of September He's at Madeira Drive. Tickets are 20 quid. And if you like your Jimmy Carr comedy, you'll enjoy that. Suitable for ages 16 plus. The Continental Circus Berlin will be at Preston Park on Thursday the 8th of October, Friday the 9th and Saturday the 10th. Ticket prices to be confirmed, but around 12 quid would be a best bet. An extravaganza of energetic and daring feats to make you doubt your own eyes. With contortionists, daring acrobatics and trapeze artists, this lot will go to any lengths to shock and impress you. That's the Continental Circus Berlin. Oh, they're also going to be at uh, Preston Park on Thursday the 8th, Friday the 9th and Saturday the 10th. Do you know what? I've just given you those dates. They are uh, exactly the same. That's a website glitch for you. More drive-in theatre. This is uh, Greece on Thursday the 1st of October at Mile Oak Farm. And uh, that's another one that is touring the UK as part of the Drive and Dine. Along with Aladdin on the 4th of October, again at Mile Oak Farm. On the 2nd of October at the Brighton Dome, you can see John Richardson, the nitwit. Price is around 20 quid again. The Circus of Horrors will be at Preston Park on Saturday the 10th of October. Prices around the 20 quid mark. Uh, circus show featuring rock music, comedy and more. That'll do you for now. Let's have some more music.
From 1974, that was Backman Turner Overdrive. You ain't seen nothing yet from the album Free Wheeling. Reached number one position on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart and the Canadian RPM chart the week of November 9th, 1974, as well as earning the band their only major hit single in the UK, peaking at number two on the UK charts. Okay, there's a few more listings for you. Uh, on the 8th of October and Tuesday the 13th of October next, uh, sorry, April next year, my dad wrote a porno live, that's at the Brighton Dome. The team behind the Smash It podcast take their sellout show on tour, featuring James Cooper, Alice Levine and Jamie Morton. Uh, the 28th of October and Monday the 23rd of November at the Theatre Royal in Brighton, Adam Kay, this is going to hurt, Secret Diaries of a Junior Doctor. Adam Kay, comedian, former doctor and author of the best-selling This Is Going To Hurt, shares entries from his diaries as a junior doctor in this tour of stand-up and music. I will also be at Madeira Drive on the 25th of September. Tickets around the £20 mark. Jeff Wayne's War of the Worlds. You've got to wait till 2022 for that, unfortunately. That'll be at the Brighton Centre. And I think that's about it for this year, unfortunately. Everything else is moving into next year. Oh, there is one more. The Roy Orbison story at the Theatre Royal. Roy Orbison tribute singer Barry Steele and his five-piece show band singing hits by the Big O plus special tribute to the time Roy spent with the Travelling Wilburys and Bono. Uh, That's on the 26th of November at the Theatre Royal. Tickets, 13 to £29, depending on where you want to sit. That's it for the gig guide. We're going to carry on with the music. And then I'll give you some more shameless self-promotion.
Oh, Blackstone, Sherry and Blind Man from 2008 and the album Folklore and Superstition, their second studio album. And I have to say, my favourite band I've discovered since I've been doing the rock show. And with the rock show in mind, I promised you some shameless self-promotion. This is a rock spot. Right, Ben, Ben, come here, come here. What do you want? Oh, I've, I want to ask you about your rock show. You've been badgering me about all mine and I thought it's about time you had yours done. So, right, tell me about your rock show. What's it all about? My rock show, it's about bringing fantastic rock music to a wider audience. I, simple as that. I try and find all the best new stuff. I still play all the old classic stuff. Well, you have to. And I bring my love of rock music to a wider audience. That's, that's really all it is. I just want to prove to people that rock music is just not a loud, horrible noise like Motorhead. Was oh, it not? Oh, <laughs> so where, why do you like rock music where did, where did that come from actually I was very very young and I was quite often babysat by my cousin Caroline who was a huge ACDC fan right. and she used to play that to make me go to sleep oh well, that's a good ACDC like, were my yeah. alibis oh, that's good yeah. that's cool so um, that was it it was a great sound I, I've loved it since I was a toddler that's cool that's good well I've been listening to it as well and I've found a few things that I've, I've not heard of before some of them I thought, oh, really? Is that rock? I mean, <laughs> so, yeah, it's good. And as long as you keep finding it, you know, your mole does a good job for you. My mole, yeah. <laughs> he finds all sorts of stuff for me that I haven't got time to look so for. So keep on the good work and keep on rocking. Absolutely. That's it. ta <laughs> Is that it, then? That's it. I've got nothing else to say to you because it's just so good. Oh, all I right, thought then. that'll do. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure you're chasing me. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Oh, no. 
1994 girls and boys from blur it was their first top five hit and their most successful single until country house there you go from park life and i'm going to follow that with a real classic from credence Nineteen sixty nine Bad Moon Rising by Credence Clearwater Revival there from Green River. That's it, I'm afraid. We're out of time for today's show. You've been listening to Thursday Live here on Radio Lewis where the music matters. And before I forget, don't you can now get us on uh, Mixcloud if you're looking for great music. Check us out there. Along with all the other platforms. And I'm gonna leave you with some Greta Van Fleet because Cy's not here, so just one for him. And when the curtain falls. So I'll be back on Saturday. Till then, stay safe. Ta-da.
Radio Lewis. Local. Community. Community. Webcasting.